I'm Ryan Panone, Player Development Coach of Hopewell Jerusalem, and this is BasketballHQ.com. Today we're going to teach you how to do the back leg finish. This is a shot you've seen multiple NBA players use, Russell Westbrook, Steve Nash, Stephen Curry, Kobe Bryant, Carmelo Anthony, Dirk Nowinski, and we're going to show you how to do it from multiple situations in a game. Now as you're watching the NBA players doing it, they're the best players in the world, so you'll see them do it from 12, 14, 15 feet. We're going to do it more from 7 or 8 feet. This is a good move to have because it's deceptive and it really throws off a defender's timing and a shot blocker's timing. Okay, this is a very crafty move to work on. One of the ways that we would work on this is as we're first starting out, just kind of spinning it to ourselves, just coming in, spin it off back leg shots, just really working on touch. There's a lot of touch that goes into this. Okay, so the first situation we're going to work on is where we're bra breaking our defender down at the half court and you're going to see him drive and come off that back leg. Okay, good. So now, sometimes you'll see players step back like he did, so that he'll step back and he comes off that back leg instead of allowing this foot to come because it's a little bit quicker, it's a little bit craftier. And then sometimes you'll see him drive, which he'll show next, where he kind of drives, he just kind of plants and he comes off that back leg instead of stepping back. Same scenario. Right, so it's a, instead of stepping back, he's able to, to initiate contact with that defender as he's driving and come off that back leg. Okay, so now we're going to show in more of a situation that would be in the full court. So as you see a player attacking, okay, and he either has a defender on his hip, so come here. So he's got his defender on his hip as he's attacking, and he's going to try to engage him and get here and get his shoulder into him, and then step back and get that shot off. Okay? Or if that player is flying downhill, and this happens to be a big guy who's more of an athletic shot blocker, then he would engage him and step back and get that shot off off his back leg. Okay, so go ahead and show in transition. Good. Now you'll kind of see him as he goes. Good. Good. So now let's show the decelerate one. The very first one he did, he attacked and he decelerated. And what that's good for is if a defender's on his hip and he's playing tight, and as I come, he's trying to run at full speed, and I slow down, I'm going to create a little bit of separation to get my shot off. Okay, and then the second one, he's able to engage, get his shoulder into him, and create that separation. Okay, so let's do two of the decelerate, two as we're stepping back in transition. Decelerate, notice how he's slowing down, he's kind of pausing, creating that separation, using that defender's own speed against him. Good. Now let's make sure as we're doing this, we're also using our eyes. Now we're going to come, we're going to create, and have that step back. Good. Okay, good. Now, next thing we're going to do, we're going to work on flashing. Okay, in a cutting situation. So it could be against a zone, it could just be a guard or a big guy is cutting. We're gonna have him spin the ball out to himself, but it would be as if he catches it, and real quick he's getting it off in that paint. Okay? So spin as soon as it catches. Good. Let's move that a little bit closer. To, to be able to shoot this shot out here is a really tough shot. You guys see NBA players do it all the time. But they're the best players in the world. Let's move it more in here. That way it's more of a touch shot. Good. One more. Good. Now, big thing on this, especially on a cutting situation, is we want to make sure as we're coming back, we're not drifting to the side. We don't want our body weight drifting this way because now we're trying to shoot at a moving target. We want, as we cut, we catch, and we're going backwards, not sideways. Let's see one more where you're going backwards instead of sideways. Good, much better. We never want our players shooting at a moving target. The degree of difficulty on this shot is already very high. If we're moving to the side, it becomes higher. All right, next, we're going to treat it as if we're driving from the wing. Okay, so we'll just kind of show a defender with the pad. And what we're going to do is he's driving to the wing. You're going to see him engage him and get his shoulder into him. So as he's driving, he's going to get his shoulder low into him and then create that separation from the defender. Okay? Go ahead. 
You're going to guard him full speed. He's going to come to the middle, engage, good. Really use that pad to get into him. Let him be a little bit physical with you. Okay, so go ahead, defend him, hold on. Yep, just like this and let him drive and get into you. Good, good. He's created that separation. Make sure we're going back instead of sideways. One more time. That's a big thing. It's the little details with this move. Good. Nice. You also want to have really high arc on these shots because on almost all of them, you have backward momentum. Okay, now we're going to show from the post. So Dirk Nowitzki is probably the most famous from this. He'll do it a lot of times without even dribbling, so he'll engage him. And what you'll see him do is notice how his shoulder is getting into the defense to force that defender back, and then he's going to rise up and get a shot off. Okay, good. Nice. Let's see it again. Make sure our pivot foot is down and we're not traveling. Okay, good. One more time. So a big thing to see with your player is what he did here is as he's trying to engage him, he's dragging his pivot foot. So we want to make sure our pivot foot stays down and our shoulder stays parallel to our foot. So that way as we're getting into him and we're moving him, it's slow and soft. We've created that little bit of angle. Let's see one more time. Keep your pivot foot down. Good. Okay, next one you'll see, which Carmelo Anthony does this a lot, is now he'll engage the dribble. So that way, this guy's worried about defending that dribble as he's attacking off that dribble. I'm trying to cover ground. He's gonna create that separation and get a shot off. Okay, let's see that two times. Nice, good. One more. Good job, nice high arc. Okay, good. I'm Ryan Pannone, and this is BasketballHQ.com.